Utah saying goodbye to a hero today. Staff Sergeant Paul Leak in Olmstead was laid to rest in his hometown. New specialist Lad Egan has more from San Pete County. The community gathered here along Main Street in Spring City to remember someone they watched grow up who gave the ultimate sacrifice. 29-year-old Staff Sergeant Paul Lincoln Olmstead leaves behind a wife and two children. He died two weeks ago during a water training exercise in Kentucky. The Utah National Guard said that Olmstead was a trained professional and fully committed to his country. During the funeral services, he was remembered for living fully and loving everyone he met. Those who watched Olmstead grow up said news of his death was devastating. It's what we don't want, but we know when we allow our sons to go, encourage our sons to go, we know that it's a chance. Olmstead graduated from North San Pete High School in 2010 and was an Eagle Scout. In his obituary, it says he was born a soldier and knew from a young age that he wanted to protect people. I talked to some of his unit last night at the viewing and Lincoln walked on water. That unit is hurting because Lincoln was their, Lincoln was their shining star. Lincoln was awesome. Uh, he could do everything. It was amazing. Staff Sergeant Olmstead being remembered for being talented in everything he did and who will be missed by his family, friends, and fellow soldiers. And Utah Governor Spencer Cox, who is from this area, knows the Olmstead family, spoke at the funeral, saying that on behalf of all of Utah, our hearts are broken and our state is mourning together. Reporting in Spring City, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News.